Well, we are ready in month three of the Atlantic hurricane season. Meteorologist Lance Blocker has an update on what we can expect for the remainder of the season. Meteorologists have been closely monitoring the developing El Nino and record warm sea surface temperatures and how each variable will impact the upcoming season. Above average sea surface temps usually result in more widespread tropical development, including hurricanes. It also means that the hurricanes that do develop have the potential to become more intense than normal. However, the rigorous El Nino may also counteract the warm water temperatures. During an average El Nino year, the Atlantic Ocean experiences much higher wind shear across the area where storms develop. Wind shear typically disrupts tropical systems before they can organize, which results in fewer named storms overall. So the big question has been, which wins out? The strong El Nino or the record warm ocean temperatures? It seems that right now the warm water is winning the battle at this point in the, in the year. And we'll see if that continues. It's not always a, a sign of things to come. Uh, but it's certainly not a great start. It looks a little more active than most of us would like. Hurricane researchers at Colorado State apparently agreed with Dr. Cowan. Their latest forecast released on Thursday points to a more active season with 18 named storms, including nine hurricanes. Their update also reminds everyone that this season continues to be a lower confidence forecast overall, mainly due to the ongoing battle between the sea surface temperatures and the El Nino.